Hi guys, welcome back. Scaling King, we're off for more of Earthbound slash Mother 2 in the last episode. We fought our way through the Tender Village Underground, which led us to the Lumine Hall, where we got our 7th Sanctuary location in our stone. And in this episode, we're going to go down the hole, because that's the only other way we can go, and... That's a long drop. Where the hell are we? We are tiny as hell. No, we did not go for a portal. And the music is kooky. We need to find out where the hell we are. And there's... Uh... Can we check this? No problem here, apparently. Oh, hang on. Earthquake. It's activated. Check it. What do you mean no problem here? I should be able to... I should be able to check that, unless I've got a stand on it, when it goes off. I know you can do something here, give me a moment. I'm having problems. It's not going to earthquake now, is it? <laughs> I wasn't close enough, but I couldn't walk forward either, so I was I'm just trying to wonder what the hell. I must have to walk to make it active. Come on, reactivate please. Please? There we go. Well, hey! The hot spring energizes you completely. And if we check our health now, we are, f well, we were already fully healed, but yeah, that, that spring would fully heal you if you get caught in by it. So you got to wait for the earthquake to go off and the guys will heal you. And they're going off again already. But yeah, um, there is a whole world down here with greenery and stuff and dinosaurs. What? Apparently there are dinosaurs down here and that's scary as hell. But we heard some NPCs talk about dinosaurs in a place deep underground. That's where we are. We're in the lost underworld. Now we piece things together. We go against the Chompasaur. Are we good enough to just bash? Well, Paula, I do not understand how you could miss something of this size with that fine pan of yours. But that's something that's pretty bad. Considering I just attacked with everybody. That bullet's going to go right back into Jeff's face. So yeah, you might want to start a lot of battles off with the neutralizer here. Ah, that's bad. Well, the one time that us Oh, well, we got rid of the shield though. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that hurts. But his shield's gone now, so we should just be able to bash him. The one time that Ness gets a smash attack and it's actually not for the great I did. He's still going. Oh, PSI fire alpha. I don't think we can just bash to take these guys on. Well, his PSI is a bit weaker than his physical attack, so that's helpful, I guess. Uh, considering that I've already damaged him, I think bashing should just finish him off now at this point. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of health considering how big he is. You would expect him to have way more health than that, but there you go. And we got tons of experience for that. Over 10,000 experience for well, one enemy. Yes, we're going to have to be healing quite a bit here. I want to use that pizza up. So, um, let's use that on... Poo. Oh, shit, that was stupid. Yep, I wasted that. It's really annoying. I, I, for some reason, I just forget that Pooh does not like certain items. For some reason, I couldn't go around that tree. I was getting stuck. There's a Prezi here, which is actually bigger than us, which makes no sense. It's a brain food lunch inside. Okay, I will give that to Pooh right now. No, wait, no. A brain food lunch heals... Uh, PP as well, don't it? Oh, damn. You know what, screw it, I'm just to sort everything, everyone out, I'm just going to do this. Yes, that was overkill at this point, but I don't mind. If we need healing, we'll just go to another geyser, this was just a patch up. For some reason, I cannot go through those two trees. I don't understand why I can't make my way around that. 
But yeah, I have a plan here to get through this, so it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, this is one of the more memorable parts of the game because it's such a decently sized area and with like this small. This is like a freaking bulletin board right here. Case of danger, evacuate here. The boss. Who is the boss? Looks like we have more tenders down here as well, which is kind of interesting. You're strange, but you smell good, so I'll tell you a secret. Did you feel the earthquake a little while ago? You know, we have earthquakes all the time here. After an earthquake, the hot springs were erupt. The blue springs are great for recovering health. The red springs are perfect for healing paralysis or drawing out poison. So there we go, we got a little um, notification of what each uh, geyser does around here. The bird right there says strange words like hello and click beep beep beep. So yes, once again, the parakeet acts like a phone. It's your dad, I've deposited uh, 41,000 monies. Take away what you spent, you should now have over t a quarter of a million dollars! <laughs> God damn the money. I realise that we've never actually gone back to Summers to upgrade, but we will do that at some point. I don't really think we need it at this point though. We do need to record because I haven't saved since last episode. I used I, I just did the suspension point uh, thing that you can do on the virtual console, which is just like hitting up home and then exiting the game. And when you return, you basically leave, uh, start where you left off. Like a pseudo save point, a quick save, as it were. But yes, we need to find our way through this place, and it's gonna take more. Oh, I, I estimate an entire episode to explore this whole area. I know where I'm going because it's pretty much just one big box. Think of this as, as Nintendo's version of Jurassic Park. That's pretty much what it is. We've got dinosaurs running around. For a second there, I thought that boulder just freaking crushed him like Indiana Jones, but no. That is an enemy, and I do not recognise that sprite. Oh my god. I don't want you seeing me either. I'm not dealing with three enemies at once. You know what? I'm feeling ballsy. Let's... Do okay, just the one at a time. I guess because the sprites are so... What the flip? This looks creepy. And I'm getting Majora's Mask flashbacks. I have never seen this enemy before in my life. I don't even think Chugger Conroy has bumped into this before. Like, I, I keep referencing his Let's Play, which was his very first Let's Play, but that is like the Earthbound Let's Play I remember the most, not even Tenjin Moop. And I love it, that guy, because of his Pokemon Yellow. Uh, what do I do with this thing? Is he gonna explode? I don't even know! Um... Uh... What do I do? Could try a PSI Flash Omega. I've never, I've never thought this thing before. I don't even know. You know, bash it. <laughs> uh, what we got here? Nah, it's too costly. I can just use the defense shower for that. Uh, I don't want what you're selling. Goods. Defense shower. I got to. Poo, you just whack it. I don't even know what to feel about, how to feel about this. I've just never seen this sprite on screen before. That did 580. That wasn't even Omega, that was Gamma. And he's done already. Wow, he's weak. He didn't even have any shields up. Is he the easy enemy of this place? Look how pitiful that experience is compared to what we just got from that Chompasaur. And apparently it was enough for Pooh. Of course it was. Level 62 for Pooh. Offense went up by 1. Defense went up by 2. HP went up by 1. PP went up by 1. Alright. Alright. I was scared for no reason. That is weird. That no. You're not getting me from behind. A wet, o a wet no saw. Okay. You look tiny. I'm gonna bash you. You seem fine. You have no shield, so it's the chomper saws that are the scary ones. Of course, that was the first encounter around here. Setting the mood for what we ought to deal with. Stomped with its huge foot. You know, considering I'm not gonna question how could you miss when he's that big, I'm not gonna question how you could dodge a foot that bloody big. Just not gonna question it. That's legit. We took no damage. I'm gonna take it. Yeah, and bashing just seems to do just enough here. So obviously the chomper saws we don't want to just bash, but 
It was a bit late after I realised that. Jeff is now level 66. Defense went up by 2. Defense went up by 2. Guts went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. HP went up by 2. Alright. Not bad boosts all around for that's for Jeff when it comes to that kind of stuff. Especially with IQ, because we need to get up to 60 or something. Horn of Life! Like we need any more death-defying items, literally. That's what they do. Phoenix Downs, one-up mushrooms all around. Fairies. Whatever other items recover you from death. Madame Leota's voodoo dolls, I don't know. That was a reference to a Let's Play I've done semi-recently. Let's open the present. There's a sea pendant inside. Pooh takes that. Okay, so what does that do? Of course, Pooh can't use it. Are we almost maxed out in inventory space? Yes, we are. All right. Uh, what do you do? Sea pendant. Must be equipped on your body. Fire, freeze, and flash. That is everything. Then it blocks. Okay. Let's see who ha everyone has. Nessa's flame pendant. What does the crystal charm do? Night pendant, you can't wear that. All right, so what's the, so the flame pendant blocks fire, which the uh, sea pendant can do. It's kind of like a uh, mother one slash earthbound beginnings in that case, because like the sea pendant was the best pendant, I believe it was called that. No, was it called the earth pendant? That would make more sense. What's the crystal charm do again? Takes you from paralysis. Okay, so that's also, that's actually unique, and it also increases speed. All right, uh, Jeff, what does the night one do? It might this might actually be an upgrade because we got this during um, moon side. Must be equipped in your body. Absorbs the light of a flash attack. Okay, so night pendant is useless because we haven't been getting hit. That's why ne uh, Jeff hasn't been getting affected by flash attacks. Well, I thought it was just his glasses and just a character thing. That can happen. Similar to how Ness can only get homesickness. But no, it was that um, pendant of his. So what I want to do is... That is a one... That's only a one-use time item kind of thing. <sighs> um, here's what I'll do. Uh, I'll use a pizza here. And I'll heal... Actually, what was that super bomb we could use as well? Yeah, I definitely want to use this pizza, but I don't know who. I guess Jeff, you can have that. Oh, he didn't take any damage. Hmm, has anyone taken any damage? Since I last healed? No, never mind. Oh, I should check that before I heal. Oh well, I freed up a space now, so whatever. Okay, Night Pendant. Give that to Ness. Tried to give the Night Pendant to Ness, but it was already carrying too much stuff. Wait, who, who had the pizza? Oh, it was Paula who had the pizza. Ugh, what am I doing? Alright, pass over the brain food lunch over to Paula, I guess. Because I want to give this to um, I want to give the sea pendant to Jeff, but he's over encumbered. I've been saving my items a little bit too much. Than I should be. Right, so now Jeff can equip that and his defense should skyrocket. No, it's still okay, but he can block pretty much anything now. And that that's actually good to give Jeff, considering that he doesn't have the best HP of the group and he can't use PP. It actually makes him more viable to tank hits. Even though you can't really give him many uh many items because he'll be holding too many gadgets and items of that sort and probably heal so he can heal himself but yeah basically what I want to try and do is hug the uh, edges most of the time but right now I can't seem to go up I go yeah I can go through here I don't think there's anything up here though I think I, yeah there is okay I was I was correct we want to pretty much stay hugging around the uh, top part well the walls since the start actually I can't go this way shoot but because the area is so big, it feels like Pikmin now, actually. If Pikmin was made for Super Nintendo, this is what it would be what it looked like. But... Oh, God damn it! I can't... Why can I not move? There is clearly a lot of room there. Like, a whole extra sprite worth. Why can't I not do that? 
But yeah, I can walk along the wall here. Okay. Guts capsule inside. Oh, Jesus. Um, 52, 38, 35, 20. Wow, only Ness has got the most guts. I feel like I want to give out the poo. Because we haven't really been giving him many of these status boosting items. I feel like he could use it the most. Plus, he's holding it. Yeah, I'm going to give it to Pooh. Why not? Guts went up by one. All right. I can't go that way. Even though it's clearly more room that side than it is. Actually, no. It's the same both sides. It's strange. Yeah, it can be a little bit annoying to walk around because of hitboxes and whatnot. Hey, look. We found another tender village. And there's a Chompasaur on my tail. I think we've fought everything already. I saw if I'm moving diagonal, it seems jittery. That's not the recording. That is actually what's happening on screen. A chubby, obnoxious kid from some foreign country said something heart trending. Heart rending. So I'm healing my wounds in the hot springs. Oh god. What's Pokey been doing? S just friggin' slandering everybody, all the tenders and whatnot. Seriously, look. Th this is a freaking. I can't even words. Finger egging. Whatever. I can't go through this gap? It's like, what the hell? There's nothing blocking my way. What are you stopping me? Bloody hitboxes, man, I tell you. Oh, speaking of hitboxes. Walk into that and we'll get healed. But I'm not doing that. It doesn't even look red. It looks more... Peach? Coloured, I guess? Or more behind them, at least. Hello, good sir! You guys smell really good! <laughs> Who am I? I'm a tender! Oh god. People are swarming us. Hey, what are you doing inside our dinosaur cage? Hey, wait! I'm going to open the door, and you can get out of there right now. I'm the boss, so I will let you out. What do you mean, let me out? You're boxed in. Thank you for the tender crowd. Welp. The awful smell surrounding the group is now gone. So... Just seeing that moon with the face, just rolling onto the screen, just makes me laugh. It's just like, hi guys! <laughs> but yeah, even though I listen to the talk to Mystery Rock story, I don't understand what he's talking about. So what's basically happened is that this cage is actually the village, but whatever's blocking outside's actually like, quote unquote, the dinosaur cage. So that's weird. Why don't, why don't you talk, see the mysteri the talkative mystery you want? Yeah. I was about to say mysterious talking rock. That's not even what it's reading. Talkative mystery rock. That rock really jabbers away. I don't know why I can't talk while playing this game. It's like a few days since I recorded the last videos. The last two videos. Thank you for coming all the way to this primitive country. You must be tired to stay. I'll run you $400. No. Mr. Traveller. Fine then. Bloody diagonal movement jitter in the camera. We made a cage for dinosaurs and locked them up. That's what my brother tells me. But I don't believe it. He's just spewing out his, out of his cake hole. Wow! Wow! That is an in that feels like a Nintendo swear that does. That feels that sounds like such a Nintendo swear. He's just spewing out of his cake hole. Yeah, just don't shut your pie hole. Shut your cake hole. Good lord. Let's play store. My friend Ayago uh, Ago loves this game, so... Hi, may I help you? Okay, were well, you looking for anything in particular? You have an ultimate bat. That sounds sweet. Wait, hang on. Do you get that later on? I feel like you do. Holy frying pan, that's helpful. Shiny coin? Just, it's just so shiny. And a Horn of Life, we can actually buy Horn of Lives here. Mammoth Burger, that sounds like major heals. But yeah, there's actually some good stuff here. Let's get the Holy Frying Pan for, po for Pooler. For Pooler. Looks like Pooler is overloaded with items. Oh. Well, you know what? I'm here. I might as well sell some stuff. It'll make me feel a little bit better with items I'm not going to use. Can I actually sell this Night Pendant? Because I don't really need it. I'm authorised to pay up to... Yep, yeah, I'll, you know I'll just sell that. I don't care if it's a one-use item. We've got something better. Actually, no, you can buy them later on, I think. I might be remembering correctly, and I might just scrape myself out on that, but I'm never going to use it, so... Uh, yep. 
Paula can at least buy, uh, hold, no you can't, no she can't even, because I took it off with Ness. Let me sell more stuff. I'll sell that Super Bowl, I'm never going to use that. 199. That sounds like today's world, where it's every, it, all, all the time, it's something pound or something dollar 99. It's never a set amount unless you're at a pound store, where it's like 20 pound or 10 pound or 1 pound or something like that. Right, now I can give it the holy phone pan, because I really want to grab that. You can have that. You want to try equipping it here? Yes, offense work change for... Oh wow, that's a big boost. It's clean 20 right there. French frying pan? Yep, might as well get rid of it. I don't need it. Alright, so what else can I sell? It's always about the items in this game, isn't it? If you didn't have limited item storage, it wouldn't be that big of an issue, but I've got so many good items that I need to keep on me. Uh, he's got... Oh, I haven't stocked up on multi bolt rockets yet, but I haven't really needed to since I've got the heavy bazooka. Multi bolt rocket's really just there for, like, a clean sweep if I need it. Poo... Bottle, water, bottle, water, deluxe, water, deluxe, water, brain food, lunch, horn of life. Defense, show I want to keep. Cup of noodles, caramel, 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 magic truffle, spicy jerky, caramel, caramel. I've got too many caramels. I need to use those up at some point. I feel like I'm going to, though, because the next area is pretty tough. I don't think I can really sell anything else. Is it magic truffle protein drink? That's such a good healing item. No, I'm, go I'm just going to have to just cut my losses there. The reason why I'm going to say no to buying the um, ultimate bat is because one, there is no ATM machine around here and I might need the money for something else at some point. Plus, that um, the shiny coin and the holy frying pan are, are going to set me back. But, in fact, yeah, only Jeff needs the shiny coin. What the hell? But yeah, um, but I believe, if I remember correctly, I brought one, and then I screwed myself over because I actually got it for free later on. I think. If not, I can just come back here later anyway, so it's not that big of an issue. And plus, Ness is getting smash tags and does the most physical damage anyway at this point. It doesn't really matter, so... Plus, I've only got enough money to get this anyway, without spending all my money, so Jeff needs this. Do you want to try equipping it here? What does that do? 161, 181! Do you want me to buy your charm coin? Yeah, send it anyway. Because that's one of the items I can buy. Uh, is that it then? Are we done stocking up? Other than the Ultima Bat? Yes. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to leave the Ultima Bat for now. I feel like I can buy it. Let's play again sometime. Apparently, buying and selling is a game to him. Did I talk to you already? We'd like to talk, come from the lost underworld because we couldn't stand the quiet up above, so we established a separate tribe. Hope we're going to be friendly again someday. Yeah. It was a lot easier to live up above. Oh, okay. That bloody boulder stew there, pulsing. You're a foreigner, aren't you? I'm a worldwide tender. I was an exchange student who travelled to a country that is known as an economic superpower. What, Japan? My name is Ago Stick. Let me know if I can do anything for you. Shall I loan you some money? Are you an ATM machine? If you want to withdraw, I will charge you a handling fee that's equal to the amount of your withdrawal. Yeah, you're basically that monkey in the swamp. Yeah, so you don't strike me as a very helpful person. We have the same tender as those above ground. We seem different. Yeah, you know, the tender up there is shy and don't talk. Don't you think that the tender up above have the same particularly beautiful women? They're too shy though. Wait! Some women up there, they all look the same to me. You finally came, Ness. Finally, you talk to me. Sorry, I was walking around just doing some shopping. Listen, Ness. I'm going to tell you something very important. You may want to take notes. Ready? You are the chosen one. I haven't been told that a bunch of times. Your destiny is not only not yours. It is the destiny of the whole universe. I was told that as well by BuzzBuzz, Buzz, yes. There will be a time in which all of you in the universe will overlap each other. That I wasn't told about. It's not necessary to understand now. Do you remember the giant stair pit on it? That is one of your sanctuary. 
It is a spot which gives you power and allows you to realize all of your skills. There was a monster that protected it. The monster was influenced by the power of the place. You must have beaten those monsters. You must reach all of the eight power spots of the world. When the soundstone records the melodies of all eight power spots, you can finally see your world. This is very mysterious. I'll tell you all of the power spots. In case if you've missed any. One. Giant step in there. Giant step in on it. Let it put steps in Peaceful Rest Valley near Tucson. Three. The Milky Well in Grapefruit Falls in Saturn Valley. Four. The Rainy Circle. Found by Jeff in Winters. Five. Magnet Hill at the edge of the city of Fallside. 6. Pink Cloud, which Pooh knows. 7. Lumine Hole, where the Shining Legion lives in the cave. To be fair, this should be impossible to miss this, considering you need to pass that place in order to get here. And 8. A new place is now going to be opened up to you. Fire Spring, located southwest of here. That's helpful. Listen to the melodies of all 8 power spots. If you do not fail, may upset Gygas's plans. Understand this? The time will come. The time when the destiny of you and the whole universe will overlap. It is fast approaching. Yeah, somehow a stone that does not move somehow knows this. It's like the great deco tree of this place. Which is why I gave him the deep voice. And earthquakes! So yeah, this guy is also pretty helpful because not only tells you where the location of the last sanctuary location is, which is conveniently here, basically this place is right in between two sanctuary locations, plus we had the last two run one right after another as well. Whoa, two earthquakes already? That was quick. I didn't even move. But yeah, he also gives you a list of all of the locations of the previous ones if, you've, if you have missed any. And that is super helpful, because if you did forget to go back to Dalam or Dalim Dalum for whatever reason. It might actually be a good idea to do so. Plus, if you have forgotten to go get any of the uh, previous sanctuary locations at this point, because you should have seven up to this point, you now know the exact locations and where you must go in order to find them. So, at least the game gives you a little nod saying that, hey, you've missed a few places, you need to go back and go get them. Because like I said, once you reach Summers, you could go straight to um, Scaraba and completely skip going to Magnet Hill or Pink Cloud. There was nothing stopping you from, from doing that. So you have the choice, and that's when the game really becomes more open up. This sounds weird. No problem here. I can't really do anything here. And the music sounds very strange. There's a broken machine down below us, but we can't really interact with that right now. So, let's just push on to the thing. We can't do anything about that place at the moment, but it does sound mysterious, to, to say the least. I just realised that I haven't used a single PSI skill against any of these uh, dra uh, dragons or dinosaurs. Well, except for the first Chomposaur, which is like the strongest enemy in this area, which we did have a bit of a struggle on, I still beat him, I still beat him with bashing, but that's because we're so high level from getting the Sword of Kings. You're not intended to grind for the Sword of Kings if you don't know its existence. Obviously I did, because I was I wanted to know, well, like, on my first time ever playing this game, and when I saw Charles Conroy grind for it, I was like, oh, so that's how you get his weapon. And considering that I was just talking about the Sword of Kings, we finally have... Pooh's final equipment item, the Cloak of Kings. Yep, it's all one right after another, and it's pretty insane, but we have them all now. And it's not in his inventory. I didn't exactly read who it went to. That was dumb of me. Right, so Cloak of Kings to Pooh, now we can slap it on. And there we go. And that's why we've been so overpowered, because of the Sword of Kings, effectively. So, getting the Sword of Kings itself is basically just saying, hey, stop grinding, because 
once you've got it, you're already strong enough to just bash through everything up to this point. I believe the next dungeon will scale the difficulty up a little bit more, though. I could use a full heal before we keep going onwards, though, so if an earthquake doesn't go off in good time, I am going to cut. No problem here. It would be nice if it could go off now. Oh, never mind, I'm not cutting. <laughs> There we go. Heal me! Let's spring and adjust you completely. There we go. Right, so now we are ready. I, like I said, I used that one PSI skill to heal after that one chopper saw fight, but yeah, not really a lot of enemies around here because I don't have a lot of room to move around because of all the obstacles. In case of danger, back you would hear the boss. And yes, there is, once again, a phone here just in case you need to, and I am going to do this. Here, the dinosaurs don't come and attack me, so I can relax. Except now I can't get out. Well, you could make a mad dash for it. But yes, I'm actually going to ring up Dad one more time here, and I am actually going to end off the video here, because if we head, well, just down this path to the left here, we will be our eighth sanctuary location. But of course, it's not going to be that easy than just walking in. We've got stuff to do, because there's going to be a monster who's there, because he's influenced by the power there. Plus, he's working for Guy Gas. That's probably another reason. So, in the next episode, guys, we're going to go to, what was it called? Uh, Fire Spring, that's what it was. And we're going to go and complete the soundstone, finally. See you guys then. Earthquakes! <laughs>